All right, this is gonna be a brand new kind of video for me, so it may not be perfect, but I'll try. So I went out and bought headlights from $30 a pair to $80-something dollars a pair. I screwed up on that, I'll explain later. But you can see, I got a Cherokee in the background. I thought about it. I've got a stock one, I've got a 10-inch lift. I was like, I feel like most Cherokees are gonna be around three-inch lift. You know, some are gonna be bigger, some are gonna be bone stock. So I feel like this would be the best candidate. And on the wall, I've got, I'm gonna side every headlight in before I test them. And then I might have a video in the day of where I'll add in right here. So here's about where I was parked. You can see there's a sign, there's a sign, there's a sign, there's a sign. And let me zoom in. This is my phone, so it may be a little different. But you can see I put a sign right there by that Jeep and then up on the hill and up on the hill. So a lot of the LEDs I've noticed was broadcasting up here, but not actually enough light to do anything with someone was actually bouncing off them trees. So like I said, this is just what you'd have been looking at. Showing where I'm gonna do the test at. But what I'm gonna explain next is this is gonna make or break if these videos work. By the time this video comes out, I should have a website up and going and it'll be justdexit.com. And I haven't even designed it yet, but it should be, I'll put a drop down tab of video items, I guess you'd say, and I'll try to get it specified to per video. And more than likely, when the video comes out, I'll release these. I don't know, I guess I'll sign them, put a sticker in the box. I mean, like I said, these I've got basically $31 in them. So I might mark them up to 35 plus a few dollars shipping. So I'm not getting rich, but I don't care to get stuck with these because I will use them. But if this works, that's where I was going. When I started this test, I got on eBay and started adding stuff to my cart. Next thing you know, I realized I was gonna have somewhere in like $2,500 to $3,000 worth of headlights. Cause like Rough Countries and then Grody and some of those expensive brands, they get really expensive. But if this works and these sell, I don't care to test higher dollar ones. Worst case, I get stuck with them, I put them in my dailies. It's not the end of the world. So same thing, like I want to do shock tests and some more stuff because this one rides terrible. But anyway, I think that's got it covered. Oh, like I said, I just got on there. I was going to do $50 and under headlight after I realized how many thousand dollars of headlights I could buy. So these was $30. $33, $42 a pair, $50, $55, and then these are actually different ones. They wound up, they was $40-something a piece. So they're on order. They'll be tested a different night, but it shouldn't matter. Dark is dark. I'll try to make sure the moon's the same. But, and then I've got, that's plastic. That's just a housing, and I'm going to put HID, I don't remember what I ordered. I'll figure out what K they are. So let me move the camera in and I'll kind of talk about these. Well, I want to show you what I'm doing first. So I went through the trouble and got the Haynes manual out and did a whole bunch of reading. And they tell you to get 25 foot, which is awesome because my shot from door to door is 40 foot. So by the time I back that Jeep up against the door, I even got a level to make sure the Jeep's level. And that should be right on the dot of 25 foot. But it does not tell height. It just tells you to measure off bricks. Well, I don't have access to bricks. So I just assume that headlights need to be the same beam going out. So I measured center of the headlight and then that's about center of the headlight. And it's a little bit wider than the Cherokee. So I don't know. Like I said, never done a test like this before. So may not be the best one, but hopefully it works out. Man, so many people is gonna be jealous of me. I get to peel this off all these brand new. I guess I'll keep it and try to attempt to put it back on there. These, $30 a pair, they feel like China. Oh, that's what I looked up. Rigid, Grody, Rough Country, Hella. Everyone I can find does not advertise made in America. So I'm not saying that means that every LED headlight probably is made in China, but I bet it is. And I'm guaranteed all these are, so I'm not gonna specify that, but they feel like they're made in China. Look good. I feel like the first three are the exact same. Uh, these are probably just the same thing in black. Feels like China. These, I don't know what's going on here. I, all the ones that got like accent lighting and stuff, I'm not gonna hook it up. They're gonna be on the picture or if you look them up anyway. But the only thing about them, they didn't come with plastic and just sitting in the box. Y'all can see they've already been scuffed up, but I think that yellow ring lights up. So 
if you're into that stuff. They feel a little better. They actually got a name brand wrote on them too. These definitely look cooler. Doesn't necessarily mean better in a headlight, but you got a little bright. I'm sure, yeah, they've got multiple accents. So yeah, never have good luck out of projector style headlights. That's just me personally, but we'll test them. Uh, next ones, these are actually for my squatted Jeep build. And I had them on the shelf. And I was like, well, we'll test them anyway. So I don't know, let's see. Yeah, they've got one accent lighting. I don't know what it does, but they was $55 a pair, I do believe. We'll see on them. These, like I said, these are still on order. They was pretty much the same price. They was like 37 plus tax. They feel better. I will admit that. They feel pretty solid. I don't know what to say about them. They're just... They say they... Yeah, the sides will probably light up right there. That's them. And I know both these look very similar. I hold them both at the same time. Let's see this one. It feels a little bit lighter. But I think that lights up. But you can see they're actually not the same light. They're just very similar. Those are on order. I don't know if they'll get tested. Then these, just an old school headlight. That's when I went to order all these. I realized that I thought I was just looking up Cherokee headlights. I'm looking up five by seven headlights that have been around 60s. I don't know, maybe even longer than that, probably. I don't know, square headlights been around for years. So that's why there's so many of these. So luckily, I mean, other people could watch this video too. If you know anybody, tell them. So I appreciate you watching. If it was me, I'd probably buy the, uh, where these, the $55 ones. That would be my best ones. Appreciate it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna back the Jeep up and see what the factory ones do on the wall. And then we'll go see how my test works out. And that's one thing I was gonna add is I got a new camera and new technology is so good with lighting when it's not there. So you probably gonna have to go off my judgment of what I actually see versus what the camera sees. I don't know that yet, we will see. But that was one of my fears when I started this because when light bars come out, everybody's snapping pictures of how bright they was, but you couldn't see. But now you can take a new iPhone camera or Android. I mean, you can go out pitch black and it'll just light up. So I don't know how this gonna work out, I'll, I'll let you know as the video goes through. I think it's gonna work out perfect. So if you look in their little chart here, I think they want the low beam below the center of like the headline center of vehicle to center of headlamp. Yeah, floor to center of, yeah. Oh, I did it right, I just didn't read, my bad. So yeah, low beam should be below that and then high beam should be that. I'm a little off center, but you can see the beam is below that and then high beams right on the money. So. A little crooked, but let's go ride down there. Luckily, it's cold. So I'll ride down to the junkyard and show you what my test is and hopefully it works out. Like I said, obviously you'll have to adjust every headlight in, but if you can see my level, see it's about nose down across that. So I mean, I'm not moving in a quarter of an inch. So factory setup would probably be perfect, but every Cherokee is gonna be set up different. So can't test for every single one. I nearly missed one thing. I forgot to clean the windshield. So I just cleaned it up, should be good, or this side anyway. All right, like I said, from this point forward, you may have to just use my judgment. Low beam on the halogen factories, not very good. It reflects off everything, but I can probably only read the first sign, maybe the second one. And high beam, a lot better. I can actually see the signs all the way up on the hill, but no way to read the third one. So if you see on the ground, I got me a two by four to line up to make sure I'm in the same spot every time. So once again, that was factory headlights and I am gonna go through the trouble of putting the bezels on for y'all to see what they look like, but I'll side them back in after I'm done. You can see I gotta turn a little right. So now it's time to install the $27 a pair LEDs. Well, I may have to end up keeping one myself. First one glass when I threw it on the ground. First impression, I mean, they look more up to date, I guess you'd say. Low beam, I don't really see an actual beam. I just see a bunch of lights. You, 
well no so high beam again i don't actually see a beam it's just a bunch of light maybe no beam is good maybe they're all shining beams and they're all shining everywhere we will see oh and i did not have to adjust anything for my vision it looks spot on so low beam on the 27 dollar led i don't know if it's much better than the uh, halogen one i haven't tried high beam that's hard to judge when i do the editing i'll let you know but that ain't a i honestly think the halogen was brighter i can barely read the second sign no way to read the third one and i can still barely 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 see the signs towards the back over there against the wall hmm. sure i understand now why everybody runs these on bright no way to get the camera to focus but the bottom row and then one dead center for low beam and then all of them for high beam so those definitely wouldn't bad at all i'd say you get exactly what you pay for but i feel like the more you spend the better they get but we shall see i feel like the first three are gonna be the same then i'm curious about the other ones like i said i'm about 99 percent sure that and that's the same light i mean you can tell see feel so those are actually different i do believe so i'm curious about those but we're gonna try these anyway so those look about the same got the led look they're just a little darker don't stand out as much as like a chrome so may actually be nicer for some vehicles out there depending on what color you want so low beam kind of what i expected high beam about the same so let's go check them didn't have to side them in low beam looks about the same as the other one pretty sure i can kind of read the second sign now but maybe not and then high beam about the same i mean it makes a lot of light but i don't feel like you can see that good it barely make stuff out like i said the signs in the very very back and you can catch a glimpse of them but i wouldn't say you can really see them if i can sneak it in there like i said low beam bottom third bottom row one and not in the center and high beam is every led on the headlight like i said personally i like that better myself it don't just stand out as bright but for what they cost they're not too bad so now like i said these are about 42 dollars a pair they have the accent lighting around them and i feel like they're the same leds but they do look different and they're a little heavier so we'll see and like i said these are the ones that already come scuffed up so don't know if that'll affect the performance or not so now my personal opinion the yellow does not go with anything with this jeep but that's your personal opinion I'll try to add a picture. I'm pretty sure that glows up around the side. All right, low beam. Looks maybe brighter. Could be wrong. High beam looks maybe the same. Hard to tell. You'll see. Well, that's cool. I was going to show you all the turning night mode on, but when the headlights are off, it shows brightness. But when the headlights are on, it shows nighttime. Low beam on the $42. I feel like it's the same headlight in my opinion. You're just paying for the uh, ring light. Or whatever you call it, accent or low beam about the same i can read the same signs high beam that's odd it makes a lot of light but don't actually go nowhere in my opinion yeah about the same you can catch a glimpse of the last uh, signs up on the hill there but so far i think they're all about the same one thing I wanted to add, if you think you're seeing three rows of lights, you're not. It's reflecting off my insulation there, but let's see. Okay, I didn't even know them light up yellow around it. I didn't even know that. So low beam, if you can tell, has the full bottom row, two, four on the top. So those actually look pretty cool, honestly. High beam should be all of them. When I was backing it in, those are really really bright i don't know how on the camera they show up but they're bright on bright let's see what low looks like so yeah in camera you can't see but if he's in another vehicle meeting somebody those would kind of make you mad if if you're a generous person like that but if you don't care get them so i didn't know like i said on low beam and high beam that lights up i thought you had to wire it in it comes with a wire so i don't know what that does but yellow don't really look good for that but it is what it is so those actually were different because they lit up different on low beam so in my opinion i think those are just a fuzz better but now i'm curious about these things we shall see all right two weeks later the blue jeep 
dang fuel pump went out. So that was a stall. Uh, had stuff going on. That crazy truck is back. That's the motor on the stand. So I've just been busy, but I'm back on it. And that's what sucks. I had to do this video at night and it was raining. It's pretty difficult to come together. And it's like, if you ever seen the video or the channel Project Farm, I got mad respect for that guy because he does a good job. And this stuff takes a lot longer than you expect just changing headlights out. So these are the $50 a pair. And I'm pretty sure I've got them in right because the DOT reads right. But that dot and then the sides right there, that's low beam. And then high beam comes from the bottom, but it works good. This would be low beam and then high beams way up there so definitely looks bright or i can't remember let's go try them out all right low beams seem to be doing pretty good i honestly think the cheaper pair i just got off was a little better but i could be wrong but this is the crazy part the high beams <clears throat> well they're high i don't know how well this will show up on camera but it's literally lighting up the trees and the worst part if you look right in front of my cherokee right there they're shining on the ground too so I don't know what to think about that. That's, it don't even really seem to help a lot. It just shines up in the trees. So the $50 pair, they're okay. Like that's a high beam. I still don't think they're in upside down. I don't know why, could be wrong. But like I said, it, it's gonna shine way up here. And on the way back up to the shop, I mean, it was lighting way up in the sky. So if you're in a trail riding off road, probably good, but I'm not gonna say the high beam is the best for on road. So now we got 55 a pair kind of similar i don't know what to think and then i did have time by now to get the other two in all right well the 55 dollars a pair headlights this is kind of a bummer so somebody somebody buy these that don't have a cherokee i'm sure they'll fit something else right here you see how they're not rounded off on the edge they don't fit a cherokee turn around and see what they look like anyway low beam seems to be everything across the top so yeah maybe i didn't have the other headlight in upside down uh kind of hard to tell that's just one too so high beam definitely seems to be a dot instead of the other one so i think it's gonna be better lighting than the one we just took off it's in the right direction but kind of just a dot kind of well i guess that makes sense like a spotlight driving down the road so if you got a square body or something that takes five by seven headlights <laughs> please buy these because i don't know what i do with them all right so the last two led competitors here like i said they're basically eighty dollars a pair and i could tell that one right there it just felt meaty so maybe maybe they're good i feel like the style probably gonna be the best we'll see i wasn't too sure about the projectors to be honest so low beam looks pretty good Ooh. maybe hard to tell in camera that looks the brightest and concentrated it's right there so we'll see most concentrated all right these need adjusted for some reason they're pointing left but i feel like it's the best concentration of light and that's like if the, this is low beam but the high beam you can tell that's going to be the best candidate if you would spend some time on adjusting them in because it's got a really nice beam that shines far so probably so far this is my favorite i mean the signs back up on the hill you can see them really good but they just need adjusting in they got a real fine beam that goes far That's lighting up the trees way back there, if y'all can see. So far, I like these. I'm somewhere different, but they've got just a wide beam everywhere. And then watch the high beam. Yeah, you can see that good on video. So if you if you dial that in, that'd get you down the road the best right there. That's good. So low beam is the center row right there. Like I said, I'm sure those light up. I'm not hooking those up. And then they've got like mini projectors top and bottom. But in my so far, in my opinion, I like them the best because they got low to shine everywhere but i feel like they're gonna shine way down the road if you're driving down the road so like i said i think the projector style probably better for trail riding or something but as far as getting down the road i think that's better so these may be even better we'll see i will say when i was taking them out i was looking straight down and it's hard to see in the video but i can actually see them angled that way so if them was dialed in i think it's pretty good all right, for the same price, about 80 bucks. Those are probably my favorite looking. That's what's crazy if you look. Same whatever those things are, and then projectors on top and bottom. So I feel like it's the exact same principle as these, but they're bigger, so I don't know. And I hope I can figure this out. I ordered some wrong bulbs for something, so I'm going to have to make something work there. All right, low beam. Uh, definitely a low beam for sure. Don't seem to get very high. And then a high, 
looks very high, so maybe, maybe. All right, for $80, the low beam is not very impressive at all. It's not bad. Probably won't get you bright lighted on a back road. And that's, that's a really good high beam. I wouldn't call it a beam, but it's very close to a beam and carries a long way too, so. The last, last two definitely probably be great for on road. They carry a long beam. All right, I came back to the same spot for comparison. The low beam ain't that bad as I thought, but this high beam is probably better. Honestly, it's not as much of a concentrated beam and it definitely carries a long way and spreads out. So probably better for on road applications and the low beam won't get you bright lighted. All right, so this, them and the last competitor, I definitely really like those, especially for road driving, because that's like, if you bought these for off-road only rig, there's no reason to see, for the most part, like way, way, way down the trail. So I think those would definitely be the best for on-road applications. Now let me figure out some HIDs. I'm curious about this. I'm gonna try to rig some up. I completely forgot that HIDs have to warm up. As soon as they come on, it's like, oh, cool. I don't remember how long they take. It's been like years since I've had one of these. Don't look at it, don't look at it. All right, I'm gonna rig something up. That's what I'm gonna say, I went and looked. I was trying to find something. I've legitimately got boxes of that, this stuff, but none of them seem to fit them, and that's what's crazy. Look right over there, there's exactly what I need, but I don't do that, that ain't my truck. So. I'm gonna rig something up for me. For those that know me, know what a hack job I am. Well, you're probably thinking, I bet he super glued the bulbs to a piece of rubber or something. That's exactly what I did. I super glued the bulbs to that little piece right there. That's gonna get the job done. All right, I'm gonna show you HIDs and then I'm probably gonna tell you not to buy them. I'll go on 10 seconds. I'm gonna go get a drink while we wait. I don't know exactly how long they take, but uh... Big, big downfall, and wait till you see this. I spent nearly 35, 40 minutes trying to make this happen. Somehow managed to get that one in there. I don't know how, but all these ballasts and stuff, and this stuff has got super tiny over the years. It used to be huge, I'll show you one in a second, but there was no way that was going in there. So just gonna try them out, and that, those are not for sale. See, like years ago, look at that. This thing weighs like, I can't even tell you, but you had to mount those, and then it had another box to go with it. It's wild. I still think back in the day, good HIDs were probably better than any LED ever, but I don't think you can buy good HIDs anymore. Just cheap stuff. Go try them out. I'm gonna grab one of these just in case. I'm honestly kind of impressed for as just rigged as I threw them in there and as cheap as they are, that's not too bad. That's the only downfall with HIDs though. Don't have a high and low feature, so that's the one downfall with HIDs, so probably don't recommend them. At the end of the video, I'm gonna take all of them and like high beam and put a put them back to back to back so you can see a transition. So you can kind of tell the difference a little better. All right, so overview, just in my opinion, it's gonna show up different on the video, but this is just my opinion. These two are basically the same. I mean, they're literally identical, just if you want black or not. I think they're the same price, pretty sure. No, actually I think those are cheaper. So about the same there. These actually was different. I thought they'd be the same. And these are the ones that come pre-scuffed, didn't do that. And I actually got to drive these down the road and they do good like across the ground, but when you turn the high beams on, they just kind of light up up here. So same thing, they'd be good trail riding, kind of light up everything. These, be honest, these are probably just for looks. They uh, definitely look good, but as far as broadcasting of light would be the word, not too good. They's, if I remember right, they was good around here, and I think they was the ones the high beam shined like plumb up in the sky. So, again, be really good for trail riding, seeing where you're going up hills and stuff. Them, uh, I don't know. Hope somebody buys them. If not, I'll hack them up, put them in the squatted Jeep build. So, by far, these two are probably my favorite. It's kind of a hard decision on them. I like how, you know, they had light everywhere across low beam, and then when you asked for high beam, they definitely knew to shine way out there. So I think these was ones that shine like really bright, really straight, but they didn't kind of flare out any. Where these lights, same thing, they was really good across everything and they shine way out there and they kind of spread out. So 
pretty sure those are probably my favorite but it'd be a close race and like i said money wise if money's tight i don't think the difference in the money is a huge deal so not that much difference and hids i'm sorry but i guess they're just outdated if you could buy good stuff i'd have faith in them but the housing it sucks it's all blotchy so just no i'm not selling those so if this works out like i said all these will be on my website but they won't be released till the video's over if i can get that right and i'm gonna mark them up just a little bit just to make something because this has actually been quite a test and like i said i don't mind getting stuck with 500 dollars worth of headlights it's not the end of the world but as long as i can sell these and recoup some money i'll turn around and buy the next tier up and we'll keep going and if this idea works i don't care to start venturing off to like i said shops i, I don't know i'll try literally anything that i can recoup money from it saves me from just blowing money i think that's it feel like i'm missing something appreciate it and hope you end up with a set because it'll be the only ones that come from me the one thing i was going to say is i feel like this way i actually get to support the people that watch my videos first i could make a post and it would blow up but i'd rather support the ones that actually watch the videos you get first dibs so we'll see how it works out So if you made it this far, appreciate it. Uh, I will gonna say, I hope this works out. I've got it. I found out on the website how to schedule so it comes out the same time the video does, but you won't know that until this point. And if you're like months into the video, I'm gonna go ahead and say the headlights are probably gone, but they're literally in a box right there. So they're waiting on the video to come out. Like I said, koozie, stickers, whatever we can think of just lay it around i'm gonna throw it in a box with them so like i said hope this works out and at the moment the website will be just dex hit may change i don't know but anyway appreciate it if you buy some you're supporting the next video so it's on you